I'm Shoko from Splice and Post, and I have a very quick Adobe Speedgrade CS6 um, tip for you guys. Um, for those of you who have been following my getting started um, tutorial series, um, I made mention in one of those that um, in Speedgrade CS6 you have the benefit of layer compositing. Now, I promised um, you guys that um, I love to show you guys things rather than talk about it. So I took the liberty to create an element here in After Effects that has an embedded um, alpha channel. Okay, it's basically a mat of uh, an ink bleed. All right. Now, um, the reason why you will want to work this way is, um, for example, okay, let's just say you're working on a spot. All right, um, a Mercedes or a Honda spot and um, VFX creates um, a moon or a sun layer okay or let, let's just say a fire or any, any kind of element that should go with um, the the spot you as a colorist you could work very fast if you have that element graded separately from everything on on, um, on the clip let's just say if I had a fire element okay that goes along with uh, the Mercedes as it's, as it's going all right if everything is composited together and I get the whole finished um, commercial, all right, here in my timeline with everything embedded into it, I have limited control and limited creativity on what I want to do because let's just say I want to give the spot itself, the car itself, and every other thing in the shot um, a nice cool grade, all right, but the fire, I want the fire to be separate. I want to give that a warm, like fiery hot grade. All right, but I don't have the control now because for me to do that now, I will now have to draw mask and do a lot of rotoscoping and try to get this to work. And this is gonna let you waste a lot of time. And remember, we're trying to move as fast as we can to save our client money. Okay, so what you could do now is um, you tell your um, VFX guy, listen, send me the fire element. Okay. Make sure that it is a mat, meaning that it has an embedded alpha channel. All right, and you could send it as a PNG because um, Speed Grade could read PNG files. Okay, then what you do is I'm gonna use um, this here as an example. You drag it on top of your commercial or whatever clip or whatever layer that you want to um, composite that on. Okay, now I'm gonna um, click on D on my keyboard to go my viewer. So as you could see, it's my ink bleed, and I'll play through. All right, but now you will say, "Hold on, Ike, what is going on? Why am I seeing just um the ink bleed? What happened to the clip beneath it?" Okay, now if you're very sure that the VFX guy did his job, and this really has an alpha channel, then what you would want to do now is go in your timeline and verify that enable layer compositing is toggled on. If it is not, um, you would want to just do that. Okay, and now as I toggle it on, I could see that now this is taking advantage of my alpha channel, and both of them are now a part of a single footage. Okay, but now they are separate elements because now this is by its own, this is by its own. Okay, and now you could just go and click on your element that was created in VFX, and in this case, that is my ink bleed. And I could make it nice and red, put some saturation in there, okay? And I could select my clip, okay? So let's just say this is your commercial spot here. This is the, um, the Mercedes um, um, clip here, okay? And I'll just crash that, make it cool. And as you can see, they are being treated differently. So this has a nice cool shot, uh, nice cool grade to it. And this has a nice red grade to it, okay? And you could just work like this and um, it'll save you a lot of time, okay? Because if... Uh, example, if I had received the clip with um, the ink bleed already embedded or as part of this, I would now have to go in and draw precise mask on everything, track them, make sure that it's separate and I could grade them. All right. Whereas this was a very quick, easy way to just do it without the benefit of tracking and drawing mask and all that kind of stuff. All right. So, um, yeah, this is... Um, Another great feature here in SpeedGrid CS6. I hope it helps. Um, thank you.